Spain's King Philip II was the first disabled person to get around on wheels. He ruled from a rolling chair with footrests in the 1500s. Today's wheelchairs are widely available, but at a princely sum of anywhere from $2,000 to more than $12,000, depending on the features. This wood, leather and steel chair is a World War II antique. A modern wheelchair literally runs circles around it. With more than 150 possible design options, today's wheelchair fits the user and the user's lifestyle. The wheel rim is aluminum, the spokes steel. It's much like a bicycle except for these, six steel brackets that later fasten to a hand rim for propulsion. Tires are either pneumatic with an inner tube of air or rigid, just one solid piece of rubber. A machine stretches the tire to fit the wheel rim. Workers install 12 washers, called spacers, along the hand rim. Six of these one centimeter spacers can be removed later to adjust the chair's overall width if necessary. The spacers on the hand rim align with the brackets on the wheel. Workers join them with industrial strength four centimeter steel screws. Replacing a wheel and hand rim like this costs more than $100. You buy replacement parts, much like you do car parts, through specialized dealerships. Bearings make the wheels roll with ease. Installing them is a delicate operation. Workers use special custom tooling to insert the bearings with extreme precision. The tires are rigid and have no treads because they're designed for smooth indoor surfaces. An aluminum cross frame is what enables the chair to fold. They assemble it with six or seven screws per side, depending on the depth needed for the seat, which they'll install later on. The front part of the wheelchair is called the front frame. Workers lubricate the parts so they'll be easier to install. This also enables the wheelchair to fold with ease. They install the rear frame of the wheelchair, then make sure the cross frame folds correctly. Workers test the height adjustment lever for the armrest. Then they install a removable aluminum footrest, setting it to the desired length. It has a heel loop to prevent the user's foot from slipping off. The chair has a foldable sling seat. It's made of nylon and attaches to the frame with six screws on both sides. You can adjust the armrest height from 20 to 28 centimeters and the tension in the backrest with three Velcro straps. The backrest is made of nylon and comes in nine different heights. Workers insert the wheel axle into the frame, adjusting it to fit with the optional features of the chair, such as a particular style of armrest. The axle has a quick release so you can remove the wheel in seconds. This plastic and aluminum hand lever is a parking brake. It keeps the chair still when transferring to a bed or toilet. This motorized chair has an electrical controller. The user commends it with a joystick. The chair runs on two 12-volt batteries that power up in eight hours from a household socket. Workers squeeze the inner tube into the rear wheel rim. The air valve slips through and the front and back parts attach with screws. Now the rear wheel can go onto the motor. They attach the seat and the joystick box which has on-off and speed control switches. The battery pack provides 85 amps an hour. That's enough power for 16 hours or 40 kilometers. The batteries connect to the charger and controller to power up the wheelchair. A steel bumper and plastic rear hood called the shroud protect the back of the wheelchair from the elements and against minor collisions. This motorized model can glide at a leisurely pace or zoom around at a top speed of 12 kilometers an hour.
Spain's King Philip II was the first disabled person to get around on wheels. He ruled from a rolling chair with footrests in the 1500s. Today's wheelchairs are widely available, but at a princely sum of anywhere from $2,000 to more than $12,000, depending on the features. This wood, leather and steel chair is a World War II antique. A modern wheelchair literally runs circles around